Hey you guys, it's Michelle aka Stenna and today I'm going to do a video using three new products to me. So that is the CoverGirl Perfect Blend Eyeliner in Black Brown and it's got a little sponge thingy on it. The CoverGirl Peacock Flare Mascara and CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer in the color Deep. So these three things are new to me. And then the other items I'm going to use are new to you as far as my videos are concerned. I've never used the Meat Matte Nude Palette, so I'm going to use that today. And it looks like this. I've never used this sleek makeup blush palette on any of my videos. But the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in the color Elusive. I guess that's a shade name. NYX Nutmeg Lip Liner. And I've used this before. This is the Julep Cushion Complexion 5-in-1 Skin Perfector with Turmeric. I'm gonna use this as well. So I'm using this 5-in-1 Complexion Perfector. Oh, this is in the color Nutmeg, by the way. So I'm just gonna use this strategically. I'm not gonna put this everywhere because I'm also gonna use that concealer. For this to be the color deep, it's awfully light. You know what I mean? I would expect this to be a little deeper. It's okay. I'm just using it pretty much for highlighting, but it's pretty light. It's kind of annoying that they call this deep and it's this light. Okay. And the reason why I spray it is just because it helps blend everything. And notice how I'm patting it. When you pat it like this, instead of like buffing it or rubbing it in, it just gives you the most coverage when you do that. That looks really good. Whatever is left on my brush, I'm just gonna run across my eyelids just to cancel out any darkness. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the Meat Matte Palette. I'm gonna use this fluffy brush here. I'm gonna go in with Matte Sing. It's kind of nude peach color. I'm just gonna run that across my eyelid. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna use just this one brush because you don't have to always have a million different brushes to do your eyeshadow. You really, really don't. I'm gonna go in now with Matte Hum. And I'm just gonna put that on the outer V. And then whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna just bring that into the crease. Into the middle of the crease, I mean. I'm gonna go into Matte Malloy, this white color. And I'm just gonna go in right here in the inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit. The reason why I love this um, kind of eyeliner with the sponge tip on the other side is because you can apply this as messily as you want. Because you can just use a sponge on the other side to just blend it out. 
I'm gonna go in with this sponge and I'm going to blend it all out. By the way, I got these things at Big Lots for very cheap. Okay. Wow. Love it. So pretty. All right, let's go into my sleek makeup blush palette. I think I'm going to use the pink and the orange to give me a little corally shade. So I'm going to go into both of those and then kind of tap some in the back of my hand. Pretty. And Brow Gel, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. This is the tinted one. This is in the color Auburn, so it's got a little bit of a reddish tint to it. I like to do that sometimes. I like them to stick up um, in the front sometimes too. I like that bushy look. NYX Cosmetics uh, Lip Liner and Nutmeg. And then I'm using the Revlon Matte Balm. And I really go crazy with my spray too because I just want it to look like skin. As much as possible, I want it to look like skin. So that's why I really spray it on. But anyway, um, yeah, super easy look, super easy to do. And I just look really put together and a little bit glam. And I didn't really try hard. I hope you guys liked that video, a little quick, short, something something and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!